What's going on dudes, it's Chaos, welcome back to Hypercraft, so last episode was a fail. You guys remember we were hunting wither skeletons at the wither skeleton farm? I decided to take a swim in lava, um, not because I got knocked off or anything like that, just because I thought the game was getting a little bit too easy. I thought my tools were a little overpowered and my, you know, sword was too strong too much stuff on me at the time and really I just wanted to clear my inventory as quick as possible so I decided to jump in the lava and we lost everything all my armor all my tools it's all gone and uh, yeah I just thought it'd be fun to start over and spend like another 12 hours enchanting and doing all that stuff uh, collecting levels and you know everything that goes along with it so I thought <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Uh, yeah, I got knocked off, and I had to swim in lava. I tried to ender pearl out. Nothing close enough for me to get on to, so we lost everything, man. Um, really, really sucks. And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, there goes my phone. Um, but, yeah, so what we are going to be doing today is I want a way to get some quick and easy levels. We've got this dual skeleton farm here. Uh, well, it's not a farm yet, but it will be soon. And it's going to be so nice, man. I can just come over here. I can AFK. And hopefully, since there's two, it should work pretty quickly. Um, I know with one, it, it goes pretty quick. So with two, it should be even greater. So the idea is to have a mob evader or elevator thing that goes up and they take fall damage. Is how we get them down to half a hit um, or one punch basically and I don't know it's gonna be kind of tricky because this room is a little bit offset um, this is the center of the room so it's five on either side and then six this way it's gonna be a little tricky to get the water to work in here I think we'll probably just have to have a meet in the middle somewhere if that's possible I guess maybe here would be the best spot I'm not exactly sure but I wanted to do a little bit of pre-recording today just to show you what I'm gonna be working on I have time to do this today and uh, I want to get it done so that's why I'm getting started on this quite early actually um, this is much earlier than I normally record and I don't know, it should be pretty cool but uh, anyways I'm gonna get started on this we got a lot of work to do uh, so I'll bring you back in here in just a little bit for a progress update or progress report, whatever you want to call it. Um, or if anything interesting happens. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's knock this out today, man. I'm going to get some work done. Alright, guys and gals, so we're getting some progress made. Um, actually turning out pretty cool, if I do say so myself, so check it out, man. Um, did a lot of digging. I kind of went overboard in this room, but this is where, uh... This is going to be kind of the room that's connected to the actual spawner. And I'm thinking for the drop point, it's going to be right here. Um, I believe it's far enough away. I believe we got to have them. I'm going to double check this before I actually dig what I need to dig out. Um, but I believe you have to at least get them eight blocks away from the spawner. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight right here. Um, so this should be far enough away for them to keep spawning um, I'm hoping but I may have to do some tests and find out but if not I don't mind moving it over uh, one um, if need be or out one even if I have to uh, but yeah so the idea is hopefully this works I'm gonna have to do some tweaking I'm not really trying to follow any kind of design scheme that anybody else has come up with um, so we'll see, we'll see if this works but the idea is to have the water here it's gonna push them all into this main trench here um, and then this water stream will push them over here into one more trench and from here they'll go over and then they'll go up and into the uh, the dropper I guess but it's looking pretty good so far um, I just wanted to bring you in a little bit and uh, show you what has been going on so I'm gonna work on actually spreading some grass in here while I am working on it um, because I really like the way the grass and stuff looks in the cave with the smooth stone and everything like that and I went with the circle shape um, where we come in at the uh, I can't, the corner of the circle it doesn't really make sense but uh, yeah I think it's gonna look pretty good when it's all said and done but uh, anyways I'm gonna get back to work I got a little bit more digging to do to dig out the rest of the ceiling um, and then I guess we will get started and hopefully do some testing here pretty quick so we'll see 
All right, guys, welcome back. So I've been getting some work done over here at the Skelly Farm, and uh, this is is this your first time over here, Wooly? Yes, yes, I've seen the videos, but as always in Minecraft, it looks a lot different when you're here in game. It does. I like it. Uh, you need to come meet uh, Zombie Jim over here. Zombie Jim. Zombie Jim, the meat man. Hey, Zombie Jim. <laughs> I found him in a desert like 2,000 blocks away, and I'm guessing this is from the Halloween update, but I found him uh, like on December 1st. Duh. So I guess he was just roaming around out there. Awesome. <clears throat> yeah, but I thought I'd bring him back. Put um, your meaty wears away, Zombie Jim. I'm not interested. <laughs> he likes to give high fives. <laughs> but you come over here, man. This is the coolest thing I found so far. I'm really excited about getting this up and going, but I just need your help to double check some stuff. Mm. But uh, oh, these are close. Yeah. And I just wanted to make sure that I can get this like to be the most efficient as possible. Mm. And I'm not sure my design probably is, but I thought instead of trying to look up somebody else's design, we'd just see how it'd go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, you're you thinking a, a wide central channel and, what, a wide water elevator as well? Or are you popping them, are you popping them to a one by? A one wide trench here, and then we'll have yeah. the elevator over here. Um, okay, okay, what have you got in terms of, yeah, well, I can tell you straight away that your water along the sides here is far too close to the central trench. Well, I, uh, well, signs, signs will keep the water from pouring into signs the Signs will, but have it, that... if you're going to put them into a one wide, you might as well put them straight into a one wide in the middle, in the middle here. Oh, okay. Because, well, two two things. One, you might as well. If you're going to do it at any point, you might as well choose the rather than messing around with signs. Um, and um, secondly, um, you're, you've got a much wider um, area to put them into the one by um, here than you have here. Now this, you probably won't get any backups because two spawn, even two spawners is not going to be like, you know, yeah. it's not going to be like a feed the beast spawner or anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, you might, you might as well do it here. Um, okay. That makes sense. I didn't, I that, actually didn't even think of that. That would mean one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can start your water sources out here. Yeah. Um, okay. And have them, me kind of one did i count that right two three four five six seven eight no actually one one in um so right here so on this level right right here and it will then hit kind of in line with these blocks here okay another thing your floor is far too high um, oh so i need to lower it some more yeah you want you want at least two blocks below the spawner preferably three simply because um they'll bob up and down and if it's two blocks they're still you're still going to get a few doing oh. doing this humping the spawner <laughs> um minecraft hug <laughs> minecraft hug to minecraft the spawner. Hug. <laughs> um so i would drop this floor uh by another two blocks okay um it's not going to be a massive, massive problem, but you, it will, it will cause a noticeable issue. Uh, are you going to want to light it, like with uh, a, a lamp or something? Yeah, I'll probably end up doing something with In a that switch case, or a button. I would, you, I would bring the ceiling down by one block, uh, simply because it doesn't have to be that one block this this level here the ceiling was there then that is enough because uh mobs will spawn from spawners with their feet level with the block above the block below and the same block as the spawner so the highest they can spawn is with their feet there which means the head is there which means okay. this they're never going to intersect pointless. this level um but it means you can bring your your lighting lower down okay and, so that... and it's more efficient gotcha Okay, that uh, makes sense. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'd bring the ceiling down by one and the floor down by two. Um, let's see. 
what have we got down here then? So this goes to I've got, yeah, I've still got my feather falling on. Oh right, there's okay, and obviously your fall damage drop will have to be adjusted accordingly. You calculated for twenty two, twenty two block fall. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Um, one thing with fall damage, um, well, <laughs> to be honest, one thing with anything except using poison, uh, not poison, regen, um because it's opposite for undead um, type softeners is, and you'll see this at the skelly farm that I built at spawn. Mm -hmm. um, the more you're there, the longer you're there, the more come through with armor. So oh. the, it's no longer the case that fall damage will take all of them down to a one punch kill. Mm -hmm. uh, any that spawn with armor, they will have more health. Sometimes the cheeky wee beggars spawn with feather falling. Oh, okay, gotcha. That's yeah. what I was wondering about, too. I thought the armor was just a random chance thing. It is, but it's meant to get more, more like, higher percentage spawn rate with armor the longer you're in an area. Oh, okay. Now, I don't know how much it affects it, but it certainly seems to me that the, the, there is an effect there. Um, so... So yeah, that is a thing to be aware of. If you're going to use like instant health potions to kill them, then mm -hmm. you'd probably be bad. You know, only the odd one will survive. Yeah. Well, see, the thing that I was thinking about doing actually is this is going to, I guess this is another question. The drop point's going to be right here where the mossy cobble is. Yep. Is that far enough away? Yeah, it should be. Okay. That's what I was thinking. It's got to be eight blocks, right? From the spawner. To get them to continue uh, I always... spawning. Yeah, I, it's a figure I always forget. Um, I think, yeah, I think it's eight blocks. I mean, we did Armitage's uh, spider spawner quite close to uh, okay. to his spawners, and it and it works fine. Uh, <laughs> I mean, woo, woo, FPS lag, oh, and it went away. Um, <laughs> to be honest, the oh, um, wow. Wow, <laughs> don't know what's going on there. Um, uh, the 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 fall damage. Um, oh yeah, I'm on like one FPS at the moment. Uh, just a minute, let me cycle fraps. Mm, not sure what's going on there. Huh. Oh no, I, uh, I don't know. So, something something around <laughs> it. Um, I'm pretty. I cleared out my uh, raw video files recently, so I'm sure it's not my hard drive. Um, yeah, you can move that dead easily that that um the 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 drop drop tube it's not it's not a big yeah, yeah. a big problem to move it if it turns out it's wrong i just roll with it for now you're not okay. it's not too much work i mean it's just a big empty tube isn't it so mm -hmm. um with i don't know what a half slab and and a hopper under it or soul sand and a hopper yeah well that's what i was actually thinking oh, too as far as the... oh hi good company um, but yeah, as far as like the ones with armor and stuff like that, I was thinking of also adding into just a crusher system here, or whatever that way. Because I mean, like whether yeah. or not I need XP or whatever, if I'm just farming like bones and stuff, I could just press the button and kill them off. So yeah, and then they won't. Oh, and another. Oh. Um, you, they won't drop the armor if you crush them to death. Oh yeah, that's a good a good point too. I'm fairly certain the uh, the armor counts as rare drops, so it, it has to be a player kill. Okay, that makes sense. Well, sweet deal. That's uh, that's pretty much all I needed, man. Just uh, those little points like that, because I would have never mm. thought about just dropping them into a one wide trench right here for some reason. Yeah, That'd yeah. Definitely make more sense. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just but. uh, yeah. I think so. Um, cool, man. Cool, man. All right. Well, I appreciate you coming over, helping me out, man. Thank you. No problem. I look forward to seeing uh, seeing it in action. Yeah, we'll have to. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see. I've already died three times making this thing, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, if you want if you want to make life a bit easier with the water, go visit my base and nick some ice from the ice machine. Ah, a good idea. Mm-hmm. It's like mm -hmm. straight straight ahead of you as you come out of the portal. Well, yeah, in one direction. Your other direction is a big drop, so don't go that way. But um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, straight ahead of you out of the portal. Uh, just go harvest the load out out of the ice cube. So, uh, awesome. Make your life easier. Yeah, definitely. You got Silk Touch. Yep. 
awesome. I got more silk touch than anything, man. I can't not get <laughs> silk touch. This is not a thing that you should be complaining about. <laughs> I've uh-huh. got fortune at all. <laughs> but all right, man. I well, appreciate it. Awesome, dude. And lovely place. Love how it's coming along. Thank you, sir. See ya. All right, so big thanks to Wooly for coming over and dropping uh, dropping some information bombs on me, stuff that I didn't really even think about. I, ah, stupid shovel. Um, I really don't know why I didn't think of making just a one wide trench here in the middle because it makes perfect sense since there's three blocks in between these uh, these spawners. That would be perfect, actually. So um, that's going to be awesome. So hopefully everything goes according to plan. I'm working on dropping the floor, and then uh, I will also work on lowering the ceiling down. But, uh, yeah, so spawner information is definitely Wooly's area of uh, <laughs> expertise, in my opinion. But, uh, I don't know, he's got that gas farm, I think, going on in the nether right now. That is nuts, man. Um, I haven't exactly checked it out yet. What am I looking for? Shovel. I needed a shovel. Oh, perfect. We got a diamond one? I didn't know I had that. Awesome. So, I guess uh, what I'm going to do is cut once again after I get some more of this work done. And uh, we'll see what happens. After that, I think we'll come back in. We'll start filling up the uh, the water elevator for these guys to go up and down. And then, oh, look at this, man. Oh, it's so much better. I'm sitting over here with an iron shovel. What am I doing, man? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get back to work, and hopefully we can knock this out. Oh, man, look at them all, man. I got to get that block out of there. Dude, I'd say this is a success, man. Oh, this is so cool. We got about 90, almost 100 in there right now. Woo, look at all these guys. Look at all those bows. Hi. Uh, got some potions. I've actually been uh, testing this pretty well. A few, I've, I've done it a few times, um, and it is working fantastically. Oh, look at it roll in. This is good. Uh, so I don't know exactly how many it takes to get level thirty. I think it's like one fifteen to one twenty or something like that. Um, but it, oh man, this definitely works. I think we're, oh, we almost hit level 30. Let's get a couple more. Come on, guys. Uh, the problem is, I'm out of diamonds to enchant. Um, I did, let's see, where is it? Oh, that's weird playing in third person. I did get one pick. Where did it go? There it is. Uh, efficiency four, I'm breaking three, which is really good because I didn't have a work pick. All of the other ones I had, I have like a fortune three. Um, I got this one, which is a silk touch, but it's almost dead. But uh, just a good work pick is good, and I also got a pretty good sword. I actually combined one. It had smite and looting two, and this one had unbreaking three, sharpness two, and looting two, I believe. But I combined them, and I got looting three, unbreaking three, sharpness three. So, um, got a good sword now. We are slowly getting back on track, which is good, uh, because like I said before, I had lost everything, and... Uh, yeah, so I guess the next thing to do here with this thing, um, the stuff that I'm just basically going to be doing off camera now, uh, because we got most of it done. I need to get in here and get that block out, though. Let's see. Let's see if we can get in here without dying. Where are our torches? Whoops. Whoops. Uh, I need to get some lights in here, though, so I can turn this thing on and off because... Uh, if we're going to be doing other stuff in here, these guys are just going to be constantly spawning. And uh, with something like this, I need to be real careful because I don't want too many of them spawning because that could cause some problems for the server. Uh, so that could be an issue. Uh, uh, let's do that. Hi! Hi! Okay. Uh, so you get this block out of here because I had one actually spawn on that thing earlier and he wasn't falling in um, man this thing is working fantastically I'm so to be honest I'm proud of myself because this is like the best uh, XP farm that I've ever made for myself um, oh dang it we gotta get these torches okay 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 we're gone we're out don't bother us no more um, but yeah so the next thing is we gotta do um, lighting system so I can turn it on and off 
Uh, and then also some sort of sorting system here. Um, as you can see, look at all the crap that I've gotten already. So, um, I actually finished this up last night, and I've been able to play quite a bit this afternoon, but I just thought I'd go ahead and finish up the episode now. Um, now that it's all working, so you guys can actually see, we got a sharpness, sharpness one book. Huh. Dude, I've been getting, I've been pulling Silk Touch and Fortune like crazy. I just need normal work picks, man. Um, just effic efficiency and unbreaking. <laughs> I got one. Everything else has been like Fortune or Silk Touch. I, it's really bizarre for me. Um, not sure. But yeah, so I'm going to be finishing this up uh, probably before next episode. Hopefully be able to do some mining. We may go caving next episode. Um, sounds like a pretty good idea to me. I actually haven't been caving in a while. Um, it would be nice to get out of the cave for a little while. Um, or at least get out of our cave for a little while and get into a new one. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I appreciate you guys checking this video out. Uh, make sure you hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe if you're new. Big thanks to Wooly for coming over and helping me out. Um, finishing parts of this stuff up and uh, letting me know what I needed to do wrong and differently. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so big thanks to him and I'm glad... Uh, glad I could get him in an episode so if you haven't seen any of Wooly Creepers videos go subscribe man he is awesome he is probably I found him uh, right before I got uh, accepted onto the hypercraft server oh, I think it's my phone dang it uh, but yeah I got accepted or found him right before I got onto the hypermind server and uh, I really really love his videos so definitely go check him out he's very technical he likes to do a lot of redstone contraptions and uh, all that kind of stuff but uh definitely worth a watch so go check him out but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time all right peace